Hello everybody, my name is Jocelyn and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking to you guys about side hustles. So a side hustle is any work or job you take on that is not your full-time job. So right now my full-time job is being a student or my full-time job is working at a summer camp over summer. So those are the two things that I do that take up most of my time. Um, next year I'm going to be a resident advisor, that's going to be part of my job. So those are things that I do for a living or exist to do so to speak. But a side hustle is jobs that you have besides that that make you extra cash on the side. That isn't your income but more like spending money. So a side hustle can be me mowing my neighbor's lawn, it can be me packing up somebody else's house and stuff like that. So today I'm going to be giving you guys first how to find a side hustle, essentially how to take your talents and turn them into a side hustle, and then I'm going to be telling you guys what are some tried and true side hustles that have worked for me personally, but I've also seen other people do. So let's jump right in. To find a side hustle, it takes a little time. So I would suggest sitting down and writing down what are you passionate about. So one thing that I'm passionate about is drawing. Maybe you could do something with that. I like listening to people talk. I like photography. I like dancing. If you like writing, there's so many things that people enjoy doing that can be turned into side hustles. So for example, if you like writing, you could turn your side hustle being editing people's papers for money. If you like drawing, you could be a commissioned artist on other websites and stuff. If you like watching movies, you can review movies for money. If you like calligraphy, you can do calligraphy pieces for people. If you like dancing, you can offer dance lessons to your friends, to kids, all these different things that you can take your passions and turn them into side hustles. So essentially, the first thing you're gonna do is list out your passions and what you like to do and then see how each of those can make money. After you've compiled a list of things you like to do and how they can make money, you're gonna have to decide what is worth your time and effort. Is something more worth it because you already know how to do it or should you develop that skill and make more money? So then you look and you say, is it going to add more time and effort to my current life? Is it going to make me more stressed out? weigh the pros and cons of what it would look like to take on a side hustle. Sometimes some side hustles are things that turn into jobs. So maybe you really like this side hustle and you decide to spend half of your week devoted to it, then it's not so much a side hustle that maybe you should really start to invest in it and look into it being a full-time job. But if you're just looking to make an extra bit of money that month, maybe pick something that doesn't need as much investment. And the next thing you can do is Decide how much time you're going to commit to it. I think often I've taken my side hustles and been like, I want to do the best of the best because of all these things and all these reasons, but I end up spending way more time than it is worth my money to spend. So maybe that week you decide you want to do dance lessons. So maybe you're just going to dedicate three hours of your week to dance lessons. And you're going to want to think about, okay, do I have to drive to these dance lessons? Where am I going to hold these dance lessons? Or if I'm going to edit papers, where do I need to go to edit papers? Is there a website that I need to use? Is there some new software that I need to learn to be able to do this skill? So essentially, the third thing you're going to need to do is to calculate out how much time it's going to take and if it's worth your time and stress and effort. And my biggest suggestion is make that pros and cons list. It'll really help you balance out what is important and what isn't. I'm going to give three tried and true side hustles, that two of which I have done and then the third of which I found online. The first side hustle that I have worked on that I have currently made $150 off of is campus tours. This is specifically for college students. Um, being a college student who makes videos, I figured why not look into something about that. So I found a company, two actually, I'm currently working with the second one, called Campus Real. So Campus Real, I worked for them for about two weeks 
and made about 26 videos for them. They're really short and simple, and I made $150. And right now I'm working with another company, Viewify. I'm making 30 videos for them, and I'm probably making $150 to $200. It really just depends on the quality of the videos. So if you're a college student and you're looking for some way to make a little side hustle, I would suggest making campus tours. They can always have more than one. There's going to be different perspectives. They want students to really give their voice about what college looks like for them specifically. Second side hustle, I'm not sure if it even counts, but we're gonna count it, is to sell your clothes. I know a lot of times I have so many outfits that I buy and I wear it once or I just don't even wear it at all because it's not my style anymore. And most of the time you can donate them and that's really fun, but if you're really stretched for cash and you really need to make some money, my suggestion is to either create an Instagram or post on your Instagram story or go to Depop or Poshmark, any of those websites that resell clothes or through your own and really just try to make money off selling your own clothes. My suggestion would be to sell it on your story on Instagram because you'll know almost all the people, which means most of them will be near you. Um, I love selling stuff to people who go to my college because I could just walk to their dorm. I don't have to pay any shipping costs, anything like that. And it's quick. There's no extra money that's being taken away and given to the company. Um, you're just getting all the money in. I usually use Venmo, PayPal Cash, all those things. So my biggest suggestion, if you're gonna sell your clothes or sell things, especially during like move out season, that's like the perfect time to sell stuff, um, use your Instagram stories so that you get all of the profit and it's easier for you to contact the buyers. And the last thing I'm gonna suggest for a side hustle is Craigslist gigs. Now personally, I am a 5'1", 20 year old girl. I'm not the biggest fan of going out and meeting random strangers and doing odd jobs for them and I'm not sure how much I trust it, but I did some research and Craigslist gigs can actually make you a lot of money. So essentially you're going to go on Craigslist and whatever county you're in and then on the very bottom right corner it'll have a section called gigs. You click on that and they will list gigs. I've seen gigs about helping people move out of their apartment. I've seen gigs for having a model, like an average looking model, 5'7 to 5'11, female, whatever size. So they have a lot of variety of jobs that are really odd. I will be linking down below a Business Insider article talking about how a like one of their people went and did these Craigslist gigs and how worth it some of them were. And so you can really learn from that. But essentially he rates each gig and he made about $640 in a month. Um, some of them he said were the worst thing he's ever done and other ones are really good. So it's really based on your own perception of how you wanna gauge how much is worth your time and to really flesh out the details with the individuals. While I suggest the Craigslist gigs, that is not the number one choice and I think for safety reasons, I'm not going to pursue those as heavily uh, just because the internet is still sketchy. But if you are a man or if you are a very tall, strong girl, if you think you can handle it, if you're smart, if you know how to suss out those situations, go for it get that money. So that is it for my video about side hustles. If you want to learn more, I know Monica Church has made a video about side hustles. There's a bunch of other YouTubers who have videos. Quick side note, all side hustles are not the same. There are different ones. There are so many options. Everything I have to say is really from personal experience and what I think is the way to go. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share this with your friends if you found it helpful. And I'll see you guys next Friday. Bye.